Hi. I've been told that my videos are boring, but informative. So, if you're here for information, that's good. If you're here for fun, that's not... Well, you should just go away. Because you're in the no fun zone. This video is about another VPN service called OpenVPN. And I wanted to do this uh, because I had trouble when I was trying to set this up. And <clears throat> the only information I could find was uh, on a couple different websites and it was hard to find. And uh, some people were having an easier time of doing things when they can see it. So that's what this is for. Uh, you need a few applications. You can get them all on the on the Play Store. First is called BusyBox Installer, and um, you got to be rooted for the OpenVPN service. Uh, if you are rooted, the first thing you want to do after rooting your phone is install BusyBox. Uh, if you're on a custom ROM, you probably already have one. Uh, in my first free 3G video, I showed how to um, find the location of it, but um, OpenVPN settings isn't really necessary for this to work, but um, it kind of shows you how to set it up. A lot easier and when you first open it up it's actually going to go to this prerequisite screen and I've already got everything installed so uh, rooted need the tune device driver and that's what the tune.ko installer is for um, another thing you need is the open VPN installer And also, uh, is there one more thing? BusyBox, OpenVPN, okay, that's it. Four things. The BusyBox installer, you want to install it into XBin, and it's showing that my BusyBox location is XBin. It's rooted and when you do this when you do the install you don't have to do the advanced install got that knocked out do the tune.ko installer and you see where it says you can now use Droid VPN or OpenVPN. Tune module is loaded. But if it if it's not loaded, it'll show you how how to do it. Come on. So that's all we need there. Busy box, open VPN binary. All right. Now, next thing, you gotta go online and get some files from this website, vpnbook.com. going to be this US Open VPN certificate bundle. I've already got it, but I want to go ahead and download it to show you where it needs to go.
Okay. Okay, download it. I'll go back and go into a file explorer. I use one that's called Explore. It's pretty handy. But uh, obviously it goes into the downloads folder. First, go on your SD card and make a new folder. And call it Open VPN. Then on this side, go to it. And see, I've already got these in here. But we need to move these into the OpenVPN folder. And I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it. But I'll just show you. With Explore, you can just tap on the zip file, and it'll open it up. And you want to move each of these over there. Go to Move. And it'll move it over. So move all four of those over. <clears throat> then go into Open VPN Connect. And I already have all of them in here. But the way that you, you have to import them into there. So just go to settings import from SD card and then they're in open VPN and I already have them all imported so I don't need to do it but and then just tap you have to do each one individually so now that you got that done um, the username is always going to be VPN book. Um, I use the 443, US 443. And then the password, it changes every so often. But on that website, it shows what the password is. Or you can follow them on Twitter. There's the password right there. T A C six C H E N. T A C six Capital C H E N. Okay. Let me go ahead and turn off the Wi-Fi and turn on mobile network. And I'll go ahead and connect to it. If you put the check mark in the save, every time that you come back in, it'll be ready like this for you, and you can just press connect. connected. Make sure it's working. It appears that it is, but the thing that they're good for, the VPNs, or you can use them at work, I've heard, I've never done it, um, to bypass firewalls. Um, certain sites that that your work doesn't want you on while you're at work and also it's supposed to be a more safer way to browse um, especially like if, if you're at I don't know Starbucks or McDonald's or the airport or something um, let me go 
go back in here and make sure that I haven't forgot anything. VPN protocol adaptive. I usually just use TCP. Um, I can't think of anything else. But, you know, doing this, rooting your phone, um, using this lets you, you know, use the phone, your phone the way that you want to use it instead of the way that, you know, your phone company wants you to use it. Thank you.